Hello, what is going on, everybody? It is me, Attorney Hattie Harp, and welcome to another edition of Business Planning TV. Today, I want to talk to my out of state investors and in state investors who are buying up homes and real property um, as landlords and hoping to rent them out to tenants. For the most of you, um, you definitely do want to consider putting your investment property into a limited liability company. I get the question all the time, is it for me? Should I do it? For the most part, the answer is probably. There's a few situations where putting your property into an LLC may not work or may have some hurdles in front of it. First of all, if you have a mortgage or a loan on the property, before you drop it into an LLC, you're going to want to make sure you're not violating any due on sale clauses. And if you might be doing so, you want to get in contact with your lender to see if it's okay. And if it is okay, what process they want you to follow to ensure everything is above water. The second situation where you may not want to transfer into an LLC is if you've owned the property for a long time and you're concerned about uncapping the property taxes on the property. Now, there could be ways around it. Maybe there's an exclusion. You definitely want to talk to a tax attorney before dropping it into an LLC. But those are the two main considerations um, as to, you know, situations where you may not want to jump into it. Me, my recommendation from the get-go is to buy the property in the name of the LLC itself. It's much easier to just buy it in the LLC than buy it in your individual name and then have to worry about the mortgage situation, the uh, property tax situation. And there is another issue. There could be some title insurance issues uh, when you are dropping it into your LLC when you've purchased it in your individual name. So the best way to do it is set up an LLC before you acquire the property, um, enter into the purchase agreement in the name of the LLC, or if you've already entered into the purchase agreement, you can assign your rights from yourself to the, your LLC so that ultimately the deed is going from the seller directly to the LLC. And the LLC is the one who is taking out the mortgage. If you're taking out a mortgage, the LLC is the one who's protected with title insurance. And the LLC is going to be the one that acquires it for property tax purposes. So everything is nice, neat, packaged in your LLC. And you're not having to deal with transfers after the fact. Now, if you've already acquired it in your individual name, it's still a super, super great idea to toss it into the LLC, but you got to take into account the mortgage, okay, the property taxes, the title insurance issues I mentioned earlier, because ultimately, if it is in your individual name, that means it is subject to, uh, you know, potential lawsuits uh, against the property could jump into your personal assets. There is no shield of liability. So anything crazy going on with that house, all right, could lead to uh, personal liability, and that's not something you want. Or if you have multiple houses, if there's a fire, so to speak, uh, in one house, it's going to affect your other houses if they're all personally owned. But if you wrap it up into an LLC, the liability of the property is going to be limited to the assets of the LLC. So if the only asset is that property, then you're giving yourself the best chance at protecting your personal assets and protecting your other assets that may be held in other LLCs. So that's today's video um, about putting your investment properties into an LLC. The takeaway here is you should try to acquire the property from the get-go in the name of that LLC. If not, you should look to transferring it from your personal name into your LLC with the caveat of those issues we indicated earlier. And finally, the worst situation to be in is holding the property solely in your individual name. It's going to be open to creditors. It's going to be subject to lawsuits. It's not a good situation to be in. So that's today's business planning TV chat. 
Hope you learned something. If you want to get in contact with us, check out the details below. We appreciate you. Thank you. And we will see you next time.